Hello, my name is Nadia Singh and I'm an evolutionary biologist at North Carolina State University. I'm also a mom, which means that I think about science education as part of my job, and I also think about science education and what it means for my daughter. Why should we teach evolution in schools? Biology literally means the study of life. Evolution describes the process by which the life that surrounds us, the life that we see every day on our bodies and in our backyards, came to be. How can you teach the study of life without also teaching how that life came to be? You can no more teach biology without evolution than you can teach physics without gravity. Evolution is a fundamental biological process and as such needs to be included as part of a basic life science curriculum in the same way that we teach our children about cell biology, about molecular biology, about population biology or genetics. Evolution is an integral part of biology. It's the unifying theory of biology. And any curriculum lacking an evolutionary component is simply incomplete. Here's another reason to teach evolution in schools. Evolution tells our story. It tells the story of the incredible diversity of life that surrounds us. It tells the story of how we are all connected, every living thing. Every night after dinner, my husband and I take our daughter, Isabella, for a walk, and on our walks, we tell her stories. We tell her stories about why the leaves on the trees here in North Carolina look the way they do, and how they might look differently if we lived in a different place. We tell her stories about how we know that that red cardinal is actually a male, but that the brown one in the tree nearby is a female. Evolution has shaped the face of this earth in the most profound and fundamental way. And we see evidence of that all around us. If we tell our children the stories that evolution tells us, we can instill in them an appreciation and respect for nature. How is studying evolution benefited society? The easiest examples to point to here are examples from medicine. Think about the flu shot. Why do you get a flu shot every year? You get a flu shot every year because the flu virus is constantly evolving. For the flu vaccine to be effective, it needs to be targeted against the strain that is most common in the population. That's the strain that you're most likely to catch. If the strain that's most common is different each year, and it is because it's evolving so quickly, then you need to go to the doctor every single year to get a new flu vaccine. Understanding evolution of the flu virus has helped make our vaccination strategy that much more effective. As human beings, we have a tremendous responsibility on this planet because everything we do has the potential to affect everything and everyone around us. Understanding evolution helps us act responsibly and helps us minimize our impact on this planet. Understanding evolution means that we understand that when we don't take our full course of antibiotics, we are literally creating a breeding ground for antibiotic resistant strains of bacteria. Understanding evolution means that we understand that when we overfish, populations can crash and may never recover. Evolution informs conservation practices, management strategies, agriculture, medicine, and integrating evolution into these frameworks means that we can keep people healthy, we can keep people fed, and we can help preserve the incredible beauty of the life that surrounds us. Evolution is everywhere. It's in your backyard and it's on your big toe. If you open your eyes, you can't miss it.